Hey there, YouTube. It's Rob again, coming at you with part four of Knights of the Round. That's right. Two fucking uploads in one day. What's up with that? It's like I'm off today and have more time to record or something. Anyhow, let's jump right back into Knights in a Strange Land. I believe I'm using King Arthur, yeah. I've got two lives left, so I get the feeling Percival is going to be joining this battle sooner than later. I'm pretty sure I'm near the end of the game, too. I don't remember if there's just seven or eight levels, but I think this might be the second last level. I also think the boss of this level is, much like the past couple of ones, a huge pain in the ass as well. I could be wrong about that, but I you know, completely doubt it. Get off that horse. Holy shit! People are not giving me room to do anything. Oh. Mm. But to say, oh, more ti more testicle tigers. Laugh when I send you to hell, tall man. Take that, asshole. Alright, let's turn around. Let's see if I can hold on to this horse for uh, more than one encounter here. I never realized horses were so prone to death in, the mid in medieval Europe. Oh, some healing milk. Ha! Wow, that was... Uh, that was so much easier than without a horse. Oh, fucking magicians. That mage just fireball either himself or at least very good best kit worst case scenario his ally. Apparently Arthur is awesome at horse fighting this time. Oh, a couple of fat man and a fat man and a mage just sitting around. Pretty sure they were uh having a lovely fi fireside chat around a campfire, and I just ruined it for them. England! Oh god, two scorns? Or sorry, Palmans? Hey, get off my horse, fucker. Grand Theft Equine there, motherfucker. Oh, these guys are the... Damn it! Those grapes! Eh, it didn't do him any good anyway. Time to send Percival in. Yay? It's awesome as Percival can't even jump to attack that guy to, un to unhorse him. I literally can only sit there and ground and pound him. Ah, well. That horse actually lasted longer than any other horse I've found in the game, so I really can't complain. Wow, so Percival has the power to cheer and make a good nightfall instantly? Seems awesome and useless at the same time. Right on, I wish I would have been, you know, weak when I got that level up, but hey, I'll take it. FYI, I still haven't gone to game FAQs to look up to see any of the special attacks or anything like that, so I'm old school. If I don't remember how to do it, or I can't figure it out in-game, I'm not doing it. Yeah, you know that's his dash attack. How much I figured out. Wow, he doesn't dash very far. Okay, let's save that for... Fuck, maybe not. Oh god damn it! I would, I could have used it there. I'm a fucking idiot sometimes for you know smart guy. Man, I may have commented on Percival not being that much stronger, but he sure does bring the he sure does bring the noise. That's for sure. Ah, well, we just got the noise brought to him. That's fine. I also kind of curious about what maximum level maybe. I thought that was the level up one. What? What do the color orbs do? Fuck! Just when you think it, just when you think you know all of them, the game throws you a curveball. Ah, you 
assholes. You guys are like the wiz robes in the Zelda games. In that I can teleport, and in that I hate you, and want you to die. Did I just reflect his fireball? That was awesome! I mean, I could be wrong. Maybe the fireball just went at an odd arc that somehow went back. No, I definitely reflected that fireball. Oh, man! Fucking Birdman bring the damage! Dash attack is good if I can do if I can do it from far enough away. Or against enemies that aren't quick to counterattack me like those birdmen are. Oh, more tigers. Everyone knows that in medieval Europe, fat men hung out with tigers all the time. Whereas in modern uh, North America, apparently Mike Tyson is the one that hangs out with tigers. Tigers, if you believe the Hangover. And why wouldn't you believe the hangover, really? It's Mike Tyson. If there's anyone I believe would uh, hang out with fucking tigers, it's definitely that motherfucker. He's right, he's perfect amounts of crazy and awesome. I was right, it is Muramasa the Samurai. I somehow remembered when I was thinking about this game that there was a boss called Muramasa. For some reason I thought it was actually the second boss, but no, that was Bradford. Makes sense though, if I'm in a foreign land, I'd fight Japanese stereotype monster enemy. What? So the samurai knows ninja magic too? Fuck! How did I deflect that? Someone tell me how I did that, please. I mean I, I know it's my job to know the game better than you know most better than than most people because I'm playing through it, but I don't care. Tell me how I did that. Because I don't fucking know. Sure, he can block my attacks flawlessly. And then stab. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. I'm calling bullshit on this dude. A katana. A katana, a katana can be used for a stabbing weapon, but you're. Jesus Christ! Hail. Meteorite hailstorm? Anyhow, a katana is primarily a slashing weapon. The top point. There, like that. See, that's better. You can use a katana to stab, but, uh. It's a much better slashing tool. Let's see how Lancelot fares against this dude. Oh! Lancelot looks awesome in his gold armor! Oh, damn, I thought I knocked him out of the spellcasting animation, but I guess not. Man, is jump kick... Is his jump kick actually useful for anything? You really need to summon guys? You're kicking my ass one-on-one. -on -one. Oh man, that jump kick just seems to get me hit. Oh, here comes here comes Meteor Storm. Apparently he's got the fucking black materia! And I don't know totally to counteract it. That's right, playing playing Knights of the Round and making Final Fantasy VII references because I am truly that awesome slash geeky. Oh fuck you! That's the worst of it. If you, if you can hit him while he's doing that, when he's doing that firestorm ability, you're close enough to get hit by it. Of course, he can. Uh, the, the meteorite storm keeps going on what, long after he stopped casting it. A samurai that casts spells. Man, I want to play a game with this guy as a character. Well, he just, I suppose in a way he's kind of like. Uh, oh, I can't remember his name. The samurai. Samurai, the because that's samurai armor from uh, Darkstalkers 3, I think it was. Oh yeah! Murder Massa! I am fucking clever! Okay, so stage 6 is cleared. Do I hit level 11? Probably not. Oh man, I was wrong. I love being wrong occasionally. And here we are. We are at the, the last level. You know what? Fuck it. I don't care if this video goes long. I am beating this goddamn game now. So, uh, buckle in. Depending on how long this level goes, this could be a long video, or I may have to split it up into a couple of parts. We'll see. Uh, we'll see how lazy I feel when it comes to editing. So yeah, if there's an, if this video goes to another part, I apologize in advance that I won't be, uh, you know, 
introducing it or anything, because I will probably just record one long, one long video out of this and then use my discretion as to whether I split it into two parts. I also hope that you guys don't mind the job I've been doing editing these videos. It's, uh, I'll be honest, I've have zero I have zero video editing skills or practice aside from me starting to do this on Camtasia. Videos look okay to you know my own specifications, but obviously I've never done new, never done let's plays up until ne up until recently, so I really don't know what's considered good, what's considered bad. The main thing I care about realistically is that you have as much fun watching these videos as I do recording them. Yes, I know, I swear and complain, but that's what I do when I game. It's, uh, kind of my thing that I do. I could be playing the best game ever, my favorite game ever, and I will probably swear and complain when shit happens to me. Hell, I'm the same guy that still, uh, professes love for ghosts and goblins and ghouls and ghosts, even though those games are fucking impossible, and piss me off to a large degree. It's like watching Cat trying to play Soul Blade. Oh, I gotta, I gotta say, I mean, I, 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 sh I should comment that I really do want anyone watching. Uh, leave us requests if you want. You can, you can con leave comments in the YouTube videos with requests. Uh, you can follow us on Twitter and make requests there. It's uh, at Albando Cardo. I've been pretty lazy about about checking it and updating it, but uh, you can check there. You can email us at albandocardo at gmail.com. If you have any requests, please send them our way. I've had one. I've had one request sent in person. That was the the Battle Toads uh, two off, I guess. But yeah, we, de uh, we definitely want uh, we definitely want requests. I myself am making a couple of requests. First of all, uh, when I finish this game, I may have mentioned this already. I can already tell you that my next project is going to be Sunset Riders for the arcade. Yeah, it's another game that on the SNES I've never been able to finish. And yet again, another game where I've been able to get to the last boss on the SNES, but not be able to beat him. I did finish the arcade ROM uh, yesterday, actually, so I've get, it's still fairly fresh in my mind. I know a little, quite a bit what to expect. Uh, the other request I have is that at some point when we're all together and we can get the PlayStation 1 emulator working properly and at a good speed, uh, I'm definitely going to have to bug Cat to do a playthrough of Soul Blade with all of us watching. The reason for that? I have never seen her get angrier at, well, a game or anything, really, of luck, uh, than she does at Soul Blade, which is one of her absolute favorite games, too. She she loves that game. She likes it even more than I do, and I freaking adore that game. One of my favorite fighters on the PlayStation 1, and one of the best fighters out there to date, I find. We both love it. We both find it frustrating. Her more, even more so than I do. It really is a spectacle, and I want everyone to... Oh man, another level up. I want everyone to be able to relive the anguish that she felt, and the hilarity I had watching her go through that anguish when we were kids and playing that game. I should also mention my, my choice of why I go emulator instead of console. There's a couple of reasons for that. One is really availability. I do have, you know, I do have a fair amount of console games, especially mostly on the PlayStation 2 as well as the PlayStation 3. But if, uh, as far as you know, as far as using emulators go, it gives me a much wider option of games to play, especially where classic gaming is really my thing. I do like modern gaming a lot. Don't get me wrong, but I've uh, classic gaming is still my absolute favorite. And you, you know, it's, I'd, I'd have to, you know, buy the old consoles. I'd have to build up a collection. I wouldn't be able to do arcade games. So yeah, that's one of the big reasons why I choose to go uh, emulator with the Camtasia program screen capturing. The other reason is just simply because uh, I don't have a video. Uh, neither of us at, at Albano Cardo currently have a video capture card, which, believe me. If there are some. There are some. Uh, there are some console games I would definitely. What the fuck happened there? What the fuck? I'm not complaining. Don't get me wrong. But... Oh fuck! I forgot about this guy. This isn't the last boss, but uh, there's another boss in this level. But this guy's a pain in the ass. Anyhow, like I was saying, there are a few console games I would love to let's play with if I had a video card. 
Uh, most notably, I think the first game I want to really let's play uh, was two. I want I want us to do a group let's play of Injustice Gods Among Us, the, story, the game's story mode. Because it's a stellar story mode, I want my friends to experience it. God damn it. Game over again. Let's see how Percival fares this, this fucker. But, uh, Injustice Gods Among Us is a, it's a stellar fighting game. And, uh, it's got a great story mode. I want my friends to be able to experience that. Uh, both the joys and frustrations of it. I want to be able to hear their comments as we play through it. Both on, uh, what's, you know, what's going on, what they did this, with the story, as well as how hard it is. I didn't find it that hard myself, but I'm a Mortal Kombat veteran. Uh, also, I'm looking to do a Let's Play of Silent Hill Downpour on the easy difficulty level, because I've already finished the game on hard and got everything. Fuck you! And really, just again, it'd be kind of a way for my friends to experience the game that they haven't had a chance to play, whereas I've 100% you know, of it, I've caught and trophied, I've gotten everything you can do in it pretty well. I also like to point out the fact that uh, for some reason Percival leveling up, uh, he's now wearing green speedos, he's bald, and he grew a goatee. I haven't decided whether that's lame or awesome. Why, you fight Phantom again here? How the fuck did I forget about that? He seems to be a regular enemy, not a boss, because he's got a short life bar. And the music has a ch uh, The music is still the stage music, but... Yeah, as long as he doesn't do his crazy triple-cating triple himself and shooting fire... Oh, you fucking... Omo. Again, I like to point out that I'm not the... Uh, despite the jokes I make, I'm not prejudiced against any race, religion, people group of any kind. I, I just have a belief that uh, nothing is above insulting. <laughs> I will make fun of myself, for God's sake. And I love myself a lot more than I love a lot of people and things. Uh, whether that's a masturbatory joke or a literal self-love, I'll let you decide. Ch chances are it's a little bit of both. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry for that metal image, everyone. Is this level almost over? Okay, red carpet. Oh, fuck, really? Are, he has a horse? Really? There's more level? What's a riding a... Evil knight, evil knight riding a horse. What do you think he is? Fucking... Wow, how the hell did I forget that? Forget the name of the bad guy from Fist of the North Star. It's only one of my favorite anime series ever, and he's one of my favorite characters. Fuck! Alright, back to Lancelot. Okay, well, sort of a little bit of silence here. Just occasionally, I kind of... I, I when I play video games, I tend to zone out. To kind of try to get into the moment. And, uh, that's, that's one of the biggest challenges of doing a Let's Play it for me, is resisting the urge to zone out. Because if I, if I, zone, if I zone out, sure, I might perform better, but, uh, I'm gonna be a lot less talkative, and... Honestly, in a game like this where I have infinite continues, I prioritize being talkative, informative, and hopefully funny at times, over, you know, making a very good run. Yes, that's the excuse I'm going with for why I'm, I'm getting my ass handed to me. Oh my god, did I... Did he just fucking sodomize me with his halberd and that's why I died so fast? Because it seemed to me like I just... Like these enemies are just hitting me four or five times and I'm dead. Which I suppose is, you know, more realistic than the amount of times I have to hit them with, uh, bladed weapons to kill them, but... <laughs> it's funny. Cat's actually, uh... I'm in my room, but on my computer. Cat's over. She's actually out in the living room with her laptop hooked up to my 32-inch TV up there, doing a let's play, of or continuing her let's play of Donkey Kong Country. And uh, so often I hear her swearing. Uh, uh, she probably hears me swearing at some points. It's pretty funny. I could have had her bring the laptop in my room, hook up to my 32-inch TV, but I figured uh, it might be best if we don't disturb each other while we do let's play. Oh, man. Garibaldi, is this really his name? Okay, so he's got the... Oh, wow, so he's got the the, the Bradford... The Bradford-like, uh... Fi or fireball aura. 
she will use ninja magic on me. Oh man. So I remember I also remember him being uh, getting off the horse. Once you get once you get him off the horse, I seem to remember him having a having a, a jump that does fire damage, like whatever boss that was. Oh man, I was doing awesome-ish on him. So if you can stay, oh, if you can kind of get in the horse's radius, you can't. He doesn't hit you with his ground attack quite as easily. Uh, although he still can, obviously. Yes, because he rolled. Oh, never mind. Those are my buttons. Did I stun him? Yep. See, I was right. He does have that jump. I think I'm pretty sure it was Bradford at that. He seems to go higher than Bradford though, so I think he can hit you with it even when you're on a horse. And I thanks for proving me right, cocksucker. Oh wow, I forgot he had that. You could uh, probably see why I haven't been able to beat this guy on the SNES. It's not so bad when you have unlimited continues, but. Uh, this game, yeah. The SNES, I don't know how many continues you got. Plus, you had less lives, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, this is gonna go horribly. Luckily, these guys are leaving me treasure. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna try to jump over the fireballs. And... You know what, I'm gonna continue with Arthur, not because Arthur's the best or anything, but then fuck it. It's Excalibur, man, he's the, he's the one holding Excalibur, he's the ruler of England. Uh, if anyone deserves to beat this Garibaldi guy, it's, uh, it's him. I don't know why they went with uh, Garibaldi, I mean, really, if I was crafting a King Arthur beat-em-up game, I would, you know, involve Mordred and Morgan Le Fay, you know, people that he fought according to the, the myths, but that's just... Maybe Garibaldi is Japanese for Mordred? I don't fucking know. Okay, it's not Japanese at all, it's Italian. So... Wait, so... I'm a, you know, British king, so far I've fought samurai, I've fought Italians, I've fought guys that look like they're Mongolians, fucking tigers in Britain... This game really doesn't know what it's doing geographically. I love it, don't get me wrong, but... That's not how... It's not how geography... A proper geography and history works, Capcom. Oh man, I thought of another game I should really play for you for Quick Let's Play was, uh... The Mega Man Power Battles games. Those of you who aren't aware, they're, ar uh, again, arcade games. Thank you, MAME emulator. But they're Mega Man fighting games. Oh, yes! Yes! Fuck you, Garibaldi! I beat you at last! I have no idea what the ending's even like for this game, and if there even is an ending. Like I said, never finished it before. Oh, Garibaldi's the Keeper of the Grail, apparently! Which is funny, because Arthur never actually found the Grail. <laughs> uh, some of his knights did. But I think they died. I don't think I get to bring the Grail back. For enduring countless severe battles, the Valiant Warriors have finally obtained the legendary Holy Grail. Even though the evil Scourge has been defeated, only the Holy Grail can restore the destruction that was left in the evil's wake and bring peace once again to the land. They quickly seek help from the wizard Merlin. I pause it so there, there, you know, it doesn't scroll to the next screen. Welcome back! Ah, the Holy Grail! The Grail holds inconceivable power! It may be used for the good of man or for his very destruction. It is left to you to decide how best to use its power. I don't know why you turned Australian there. So, what do I... With the help of the Grail, this land may know a peace such as none it has ever known before. I'll create that peace or die in my effort! There is much to be done, ah, fuck. See, that's why I pause it. Need the assistance of the first line up, join me in court, nice chance of success. Cool, well, it, it, it almost, I don't know, I may have to do a kind of an addendum and try to uh, play through this, this, play through the last part of it again to see if you can destroy the Grail, because it's just since I'm a pushing button. Long period of violence and battle. England was finally unified by the valiant effort of these three heroes and others like them. 
Arthur became the first king of all the Britons, as Merlin had predicted, and Lancelot and Percival, Arthur's closest companions, are welcomed in glory by all the people of the land. King Arthur believed that he and his knights should meet as equals, with no one knight more highly placed than another. Therefore he devised a round table, so that none should sit at the head of the table. People called them the Knights of the Round, and their story is still told today by people all over the world. Like I left out the fact that Arthur married a hottie named Guinevere, and then Lancelot totally boned her. Oh yeah. Alright, well, I thank you a lot for, you know, watching me do this YouTube, witness me f witnessing me finally overcoming a game that has been a, uh, my white, one of my white, many white whales for years. I really hope you enjoyed the playthroughs, and I will continue to keep bringing you the same quality of videos. Or if you don't like these videos, I'll try to improve them. Thanks a lot. Take care of yourselves, everyone.